Limestone City Burlesque is back with the Full Moon Masquerade, a haunted burlesque costume ball on Friday, October 18th, hosted by the phenomenal Rap City Blue, who joins me today in studio. Rap City, thanks for being here today. I am so happy to be here. And we're talking about burlesque. We are. Yeah, which is really interesting. I think, um, you know, there's people who will have a idea of what burlesque is, and maybe that idea stems from media of a 1970 or 1790s um, saloon <laughs> yeah. or something, but I know it's, it's changed and there's a modern burlesque, I think it's referred to as a revival maybe. Um, so could you tell us, what is, the, what is modern burlesque? Burlesque is uh, it's a performance art that combines musical theater, dance, comedy, uh, circus and a certain degree of sensuality. Hmm. It is a uh, feminist art form that centers the artist and allows them to tell a story through sometimes a very personal, sometimes a very revealing performance. Um, but it's always a lot of fun. It's always extremely tasteful and really embodies a sense of a joy for the stage mm -hmm. and for entertainment. You'll see a lot of feathers, a lot of sequins, a lot of high kicks, that kind of thing. The idea is as burlesque performers, we love a vintage aesthetic. We're not so much fan of vintage ideals. Right. <laughs> um, uh, however, but what we like to do is basically take all the fun parts of the old timey saloon girl, bring her into the modern world, complete with all her rights, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, show how much fun it is to just enjoy a, a really flashy show. Express yourself. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. There's a huge element of creativity and storytelling. Mm -hmm. One of the really interesting things about burlesque is that it is kind of an antidote to a society that objectifies feminine people and allows those people to subjectify themselves. Mm. Um, so it kind of turns the typical way of interacting with femininity um, and sensuality, it, it inverts it. Like, this is my choice, this is what I'm doing, and I'm doing it because I enjoy myself. Exactly. Not necessarily for certain in other people's enjoyment. Or Absolutely. Like it also centers the idea of what is beautiful to look at mm -hmm. on the performer. So you'll see performers who get to define for themselves, like what is what is beautiful, what is sensual, what is entertaining to watch. And it's kind of like anybody's welcome to do this, right? Like a different um, ethnicities, obviously, mm -hmm. different um, maybe sexualities, but also body types or ages. Absolutely, we have performers of all ages, all shapes and sizes, lots of levels, different levels of ability. Um, of course, ethnicities, genders, sexualities, because burlesque takes the appro the buffet approach to beauty. Mm. It's all beautiful. <laughs> it's all beautiful. You go to a buffet, and there's very few people out there who are gonna, you know, go to the buffet and just get one pile of plate of shrimp and eat nothing else, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe you really like shrimp, and that's yeah, that's great. fine yeah. for you. Um, but we think that a good buffet should have lots of options because everybody likes something different, and the mm -hmm. vast majority of people. Enjoy variety. And it's interesting. I think with Rouge Studios, which is a burlesque um, operation that you're part of mm -hmm. in this in this city, um, seems to be like that, right? It's a whole variety of people all participating in this art. Um, is, is that something you could talk to about sort of this, um, how people maybe can get involved in burlesque in the city and maybe what Rouge Studios is about? Yeah. Um, if you'd like to get involved in the scene, I strongly recommend checking out a show mm. or popping in at a class. The Rouge Studio of Dance is a uh, four-city educational facility. Uh, we have a chapter here in Kingston mm. where you can learn the art of burlesque as well as some other things. We also have classes in belly dance and flexibility and fitness and things like that. Burlesque is so fun. And that's really one thing that a lot of people will come to burlesque seeking a kind of, of solace or healing, wanting to sort of reclaim their bodies or their sexualities. But ultimately they stick around because it's a real hoot. Yeah, but meet people yeah, who want to do this. And you make friends, yeah. uh, you discover an, an artistic side of yourself that maybe you didn't know you had. Um, there's people who dance at the studio 
primarily for recreational reasons. Mm -hmm. They just come, they love to take dance mm -hmm. classes, learn a different routine every week. Get some week, exercise. Get some exercise. Yeah. And then there's people who are more performance focused, who take the classes that are designed to help people get onto the stage. And, and we do believe that anyone can get on stage. Yeah. And, and speaking of getting on stage and performances, big performance coming up. Oh my gosh, big yes. Event. The Full Moon Masquerade on the 18th of October. I am so excited. It is going to be a fantastic show. We have got Lulu Lada Chesterier visiting. Okay, she, world champion. World champion. She uh, has so many titles was uh, crowned Queen of Burlesque, that's Miss Exotic World in Las Vegas. Wow, uh, La Las Vegas probably is a, uh, they probably know what they're doing oh, as yes. far as. Oh yes, we have an annual competition down there called the Burlesque Hall of Fame. Wow. Um, Lulu was the first indigenous performer to take that title uh, and she is just jaw dropping. She's mm -hmm. extraordinary. Mm -hmm. uh, she also um, was voted the number one most influential burlesque performer in the world. Holy cow. Uh, by her peers, actually, for something like five years running. And you can see her <coughs> live on October 18th. You can see her live right here in Kingston. So if somebody wants to get tickets, what do they do? Uh, you would go to Eventbrite or you even Google. Just mm -hmm. Google the Full Moon Masquerade Kingston. The tickets are all online at Eventbrite. Uh, and uh, our VIPs are sold out already, nice. but there's lots of general admission left. And this is something people might say, oh, this is for a younger crowd, or this is for a very specific group of people. Mm -hmm. Like, anyone can go. Burlesque is for everyone. A lot of people who have not been to a show before sometimes think that the uh, target demographic for burlesque is primarily men, and often young men, and this couldn't be more incorrect. Mm. <laughs> the primary demographic you'll see in a burlesque crowd is usually women. Mm. Now, I want to say burlesque is for everyone, mm -hmm. so you'll see huge diversity in a crowd, but the majority group will definitely be ladies. Wonderful. Uh, and also not necessarily younger women. Um, because there are women of all ages on the stage, there's also women of all ages in the crowd. Right, so. Um, makes a great date night. Show for everybody. It's a costume ball, so I encourage people to dress oh, up. Oh, right, we have, we, have con we have the headsets. Oh, yes. <coughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So um, thank you so much, Rap City Blue. Limestone City Burlesque, artistic director, um, please check out the October 18th uh, Full Moon Masquerade Ball. It will be at the Spire. And thank you very much for coming today. I think this is kind of coming off. It suits and, you. Uh, for talking about burlesque and really defining it for us. And thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's really great. Thank you very much, Rap City Blue. It's been a pleasure.